what is up guys i'm daddy gamer friend and welcome back to another pokemon discussion video in today's video i wanted to talk about the pokemon legends arceus release date and why i'm worried i'm worried for a number of reasons but let's not get worried and upset or mad confused first things first i'm not mad at the release date even though it's coming out literally months after the remakes of pokemon brilliant diamond and shiny pearl me as a content creator who's going to be creating tons of content on the remakes not that i have to hurry up and make room for pokemon legend arceus when that arrives i'm just gonna have a stacked couple of months and i'm totally fine with that it's one thing i hate is dull periods where i have to rely on going back into older titles or whatnot finishing up master dexes and stuff like that i think that is where the content of pokemon gets a little stale so i'm glad that we do have a roadmap of not just one game literally three games if you count diamond and pearl as different games but yeah tons of content coming in one short window for pokemon and i'm pretty excited about that on the other hand i am a bit worried on the quality of the games that we are going to be receiving granted brilliant diamond shining pearl are not being worked on by the home base team you know at game freak this is the first time game freak has threw a mainline pokemon remake game to another developer the company that is creating the brilliant diamond and shiny pearl i love computer arts that's literally the name of the company which i love they worked on a couple of great titles as far as metal gear solid rising yakuza zero nair on tatama ace combat they dragon quest they have a ton of dope projects that they had their hand in over the years so i'm fairly confident that they could steer the ship with a remake game and basically bringing it up to standard to be polished well done i mean from what we've seen from the trailers granted i'm not too in love with the art style i do see it as a great way to reimagine a 3ds game right 3ds ds ds game onto the nintendo switch i kind of wish we got in that classic now i say classic but the sword and shield art style for these remakes but or at least something a little bit closer to what the battles look like but they they went a little bit you know quick when it came to what the overworld is and how your character moves around and stuff like that and i'm not too mad at that it reminds me of uh, the legend of zelda what was it not linked to the past was it linked to the past not linked to the past link's awakening there we go it reminds me of legend of zelda link's awakening and i'm i was happy at that game for its art style because it, again it was a game boy game that they just reimagined and I, I feel like they you know they're aiming for the same ballpark here with the brilliant diamond and shiny pearl with pokemon legend arceus on the other hand it looks like they're taking a little bit of that sun and moon s and kind of combining it with elements from breath of the wild right and what we got or what we seen anyway in that trailer wasn't the prettiest or you know the best versions of any of those things in some cases obviously because it's a finished game sword and shield looks better than the stuff that we've seen in the pokemon legends arceus trailer and then granted the pokemon legends arceus is an unfinished game from what we've seen in the trailer so comparing it is definitely a bad comparison but again this is just the footage that we have also comparing it to breath of the wild again it's like why would you even do that apples and oranges yes i understand that unfinished product yes i understand that but the time window that nintendo or game freak gave themselves with this game feels like an almost an impossible <laughs> reach to reach the quality of sword and shield and that's that quality isn't that high let's be honest and then to to like even compare it to to something as big or as you know granular as a breath of the wild granted i'm not saying that pokemon legend arceus needs to compete with breath of the wild or even needs to be in that ballpark but you cannot tell me that they're not drawing inspiration from that game and if they are they want pokemon legends arceus to be compared to breath of the wild in great ways they need to they need to sit down and, and understand what they're going against this is not gonna look pretty on you know at the other end of when the game gets released yes we are gonna get a magnificent story a magnificent pokemon game i'm not doubting that i'm not doubting that at all what i'm doubting is that this game is gonna fall short and i mean obviously it's gonna fall short of expectations of 
any standard. I mean, if you look at reviews for Breath of the Wild when that dropped, and even I was a hard critique on Breath of the Wild when that dropped, on how great that game is and on how great that game actually revealed, I think we're living in the era that when you come out, you gotta come out swinging and as big and as dominant as the brand Pokemon is, I feel like they deserve so much better than what we've seen in that trailer. Granted, what we've seen in that trailer was amazing to me. If you watch my reaction, you see that I was literally upset because I seen the leaks and I was just like, there's no way we getting that. If we getting that, I'm like, you know, like what? Like, I would cry. And that's what I did. Breath of the Wild took five years in development. Granted, we don't really know the time frame of when they started development on Pokemon Legends Arceus or when was the finished build of the trailer. Who knows? That could have been two months in. They made that and called it the first trailer and said, all right, that's going to be the trailer that we show two years from now. And that could be true. However, like, really? Do, do you really believe that? I would hope so. I would hope this game is like three, four years in. But I really doubt that. <laughs> For a number of reasons, I mean, just coming off of the fact that the main team is the main team that worked on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Granted, they did have a B, quote unquote, B team work on the DLC, while the main team looks like they focused their energy since the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield on Pokemon Legends Arceus. So that would mean that when Pokemon Sword and Shield got released, a little time after that, they focused that big team energy on Pokemon Legends Arceus. And Pokemon Sword and Shield got released, what, November 15th, 2019? That was before pandemic, pandemic hit. Everyone go home, <laughs> stop working, work from home now. And then, yes, it's harder to work from home to learn those workarounds and build with your team again, again, via working from home, and then get thrown back into the office because, again, everybody's back in the office now and to throw this game at the beginning of 2022 literally at the beginning in january to me that's like what three years in development please please there's a reason why breath of the wild got delayed and it, no it was not the nintendo switch it also came out on the wii u and it plays perfectly well on the wii u i mean granted yes it probably did get delayed a bunch of times because of the fact they wanted to line it up with the nintendo switch obviously but what I'm trying to get at is that that game probably wasn't to the quality that it was before it got released. That's why they delayed the game. And I feel like the Pokemon company is not going to Game Freak. They're not doing that with this. They are going to just push out Pokemon Legends Arceus because it's something that the fans want to see. It's something developers want to do. They want to bring in a new wave of Pokemon games that are just like kind of like this open air stuff. This is something that we want. This is something the developers want to do. They want to try it out. You can see that they, they're throwing it out in January. This is definitely a, hey, we want this to actually be the new Pokemon thing, but we're going to try it out first to get permissions from, you know, our dad because if they if it doesn't work you know gen 9 rolls around none of this stuff is going to be in the game and i feel like if they throw it out as is a hot how it's feeling like it's lining up to be it's not going to fail commercial wise i think it's going to sell gangbusters come on it's a pokemon game that basically selling itself as breath of the wild however as integrating a more open Pokemon world adventure into the mainline RPGs, I don't think that we're going to get that. I think that if this fails on a critic side, get bad review scores, get, you know, angry mob attached to this, have kids not recommend it. You know what I'm saying? Like once that's out there, I think that's going to make the Pokemon company be like, hey, look, we told you they want a B, C, D when it comes to their Pokemon games. Let's give it to them. And granted, A, B, C, D works, but I feel like the developers for trying this as well as the community for asking for something like this says that we want change, that we want to see change. And that's why I'm worried because I feel like we want change, but we're not giving the developers enough time to implement that change properly. And I think if we don't give them enough time, we might fail. And I, that's why I'm worried. And I don't want them to fail. I don't not want the pokemon company to fail i do not want game freak to fail do not see this video and 
immediately think that I'm, you know, throwing hate towards Pokemon Legends Arceus. Hell no. I think that game... Uh, look, I love Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Like, I have a full review of what Pokemon Snap really is and my real deep dive thoughts on it after playing that game for probably 100 hours now. But I just want Pokemon Legends Arceus to be, you know, this groundbreaking Pokemon thing. And I don't think that, you know, three years turnaround on making a game is going to be enough. That's just my two cents on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on the release date of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Are you worried? Am I taking it a little bit extreme too far? Let me know. Let's have that conversation down in the comment section below. As always, guys, I answer all comments so we can have a conversation about Pokemon Legends Arceus release date in the comments. Feel free to leave your thoughts down there. Again, I answer all comments on all my videos. So also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one, discussion videos on Pokemon. Also do videos on Fortnite, Call of Duty, anything I'm pretty much playing, I drop the vibes here on the channel. So again, if you dig into vibes, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. See you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever. I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.